Hello, Klaus. Welcome Hello, again Anne. to the European Parliament. My name is Anne Lietz. I'm a member of the European Parliament from the SOD Group from Germany and Klaus Vogel, the captain from SOS Mediterranean. Klaus, thank you so much for coming again to the European Parliament. Last year, you came to the European Parliament to explain what you have uh, in mind, what you would like to accomplish. And I've been myself in Lampedusa uh, when you had your first tour on SOS Mediterranean. But how did it come and how did things develop throughout the last months? Actually, last year when I was here, we did not already have that ship. But in the meantime, we found the Aquarius. We were able to collect so much support uh, that we could charter the vessel. And we started from Lampedusa in the end of February when you were present. Uh, we started from Lampedusa and since then we have rescued uh, weekly uh, hundreds of people. Altogether, in the last eight months, we have rescued more than 4,600 people from the sea. We have also more than 2,000 people taken from other rescue ships, so that we have brought uh, more than 7,000 people ashore safely to uh, the Italian coast, uh, to the Italian uh, shore, uh, in cooperation uh, with the Italian Coast Guard, in cooperation with other rescue organizations. Uh, um, and I must say the situation for the, res uh, for the refugees in the Mediterranean Sea remains uh, risky, dangerous, uh, extremely dangerous every day. The situation has not changed, has not improved. We still have to be there and uh, we still are waiting for uh, bridge builders uh, who uh, are able to change uh, the situation uh, both at sea and in Libya. Absolutely. For me as a parliamentarian, it has been very odd that the national governments don't do enough. We had the support from Italy very much, uh, but this is not uh, happening anymore by the support of other member states. So civil society fills in a gap, uh, which is very important for me as a parliamentarian to support as much as possible. And um, you were not only here to have now a ship, but you also received, uh, because of the uh, Heinrich Böll Foundation and the Green Party's support, getting you the European Citizen Award, a uh, Citizen Prize. So uh, congratulations for that. This was handed Thank over you. yesterday. Interestingly enough, also with the Spanish Sea Rescue and some other people working in that field. So that is on the need, on the pressure, and civil society takes that up. Uh, we have had this morning a breakfast here in the European Parliament where you have talked uh, about uh, what you have ex accomplished. What is your um, you know, feeling about or what has been uh, asked when you have been meeting people here in the European Parliament throughout the last two days? Well, what I learned here uh, uh, is the same what I learned in other places. People, they have uh, a photo in mind. They have maybe seen videos uh, from the situation at the Mediterranean Sea, but they don't have first experience by first-hand experience by themselves. And uh, when they listen to what we are telling them, what we experience, when they feel what we feel, when we share our feelings, uh, this really makes a difference. So what I wish is that we could bring more people to. Uh, the ship, to visit the ship, uh, to see the situation and to meet the people which we have rescued, to, to hear their stories, maybe to, to receive them and to speak with them uh, uh, quietly and privately and to, to directly feel those people because it's about, it's about people in the end. Absolutely. We tried, now we have the boat, but we have to build up the, the support. So what I try here in the European Parliament, with support of some other members already cross-party, to have uh, a group of parliamentarians, a support group for SOS Mediterranean. Uh, the members have to pay 300 euros a year uh, and they can use an icon for their website. We need public appearance on other websites, on other parties where countries don't support sea rescue so far. And um, so what we do here, and hopefully not also only here in the national European Parliament, but also in the national parliaments, you have built up already SOS Mediterranean is not only German, you have European partners. How are they have been built up and in which countries are they already existing? Actually, we have uh, built SOS Mediterranean in Germany and France and in Italy. These are already uh, three strong uh, uh, fundaments uh, of our European organization. But we are looking beyond. We are uh, planning to prepare SOS Mediterranean in Denmark. We are considering and we would wish to establish SOS Mediterranean in Poland and in other countries to make it a real, truly and wide a network of supporters and also of people who, who we can speak to and who will transmit the experiences uh, we, can, we can make uh, and which are very important to change the situation in the Mediterranean Sea, to make it uh, a civil sea, as you said.
Right. I'm a citizen of Europe and I'm a politician, so I have the ground now here in the European Parliament where I try to support that. But let's work on that together, that we get more European citizens, whatever they do, uh, to take action and to take responsibility for our next one, which are the people who are now drowning in the Mediterranean Sea. This is not something we can and should live with, and so it's an our responsibility together. Thank you so much for the work. Greetings to the teams in all countries and also on the boat. And I hope we can support each other in this project to make it more visible. And uh, so I hope to see you again soon that we can promote even further, maybe then in some other countries as well. So all the best. Thank you, Anne. Thank and you. Uh, please join and support SOS Mediterranean. You'll find them on the website. You'll find them on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, join in and support. Uh, do whatever you can. Thank you. Thank you.